Lots to see, lots to do at the 2023 Reese's Senior Bowl with Coach Dave McGinnis and Rhett Bryant. I'm Mike Keith. All right, let's talk about some of the prospects that we've seen. You got a chance to stand next to Luke Musgrave, the tight end from Oregon State, guy thought to be a top prospect. He passes the eye test. Oh, he passes the eye test very much. I enjoyed visiting with him. As I said, I interviewed his uncle Bill for an offensive coordinator job when I was a head coach, you know, at, at Arizona. But the fact we've talked about that he got injured after two games, but what he is doing here, and I know that you you interviewed him extensively, but I asked him when we were just standing here really quickly how the rehab was going. He seems very, very pleased with it. This is a big time for him now. Between now and the end of the combine, I think this kid can elevate himself a lot, Mike. All right, so tight end's a big focus of the 2023 Reese's Senior Bowl. Running back's also a big focus. Rashawn Johnson unfortunately breaks his hand, gone after the first day. A lot of good backs. Eric Gray still jumps out to me. Eric Gray had a fantastic first day. Really thick thighs, lowers, explosion out of his stance. He had a really nice day, but you know the other guy who had a good one is Tajay Spears, the running back from Tulane. He's the same guy that reeled off eight straight 100-yard games and had four touchdowns and 200-plus yards to beat the Southern Cal Trojans in the Cotton Bowl. That's a, that's a young man who is making a mark for himself this week, and he says he's working on his uh, you know, receiving skills out of the backfield like so many backs are asked to do. That's a back to keep your eye on. All right, Titans probably have a very good chance of finding an offensive lineman or two that will come out of the 2023 Reese's Senior Bowl. Coach Mack, who has jumped out to you during the course of this week? Well, you know, first of all, when we, when we talk about the, the offensive linemen jumping out, the thing that I really enjoy watching is how these kids are interacting when they come in here. I think that's very, very important to look at. Let's take a look overall at this group of players from other positions. Who's somebody else? Maybe a receiver, maybe a corner, somebody else that you feel like has already helped themselves. How about Princeton's uh, Andre Yashevis? He is a heptathlete from Princeton, Ivy Leaguer, three-time All-American in that spot. He's already had a good start to his week. You can see he doesn't have like the super explosive skill set, but he has some speed to build up at the top of those routes. Had a nice day so far. All right, so let's talk about what the Titans need, Coach Mack, matched up to what is here in Mobile as they head towards the game on Saturday. It seems like what Tennessee needs is here, and that's why the time for Rand Carthon, Mike Vrabel, and staff has been very worthwhile. Offensive linemen, I mean offensive linemen, both at the tackle position and at the guard position. Those guys are here. The other thing, we just mentioned the tight end we talked to, you can always use another tight end. And the receivers, I mean, I, I, I'm going to go to Mingo from Ole Miss. This is a guy that might be able to fit into various positions. You can never have too many receivers. We know that our receiving core got depleted throughout the year because of injury. Uh, you know, we, we've got Traylon Burks coming back, but the receiver core still needs to look at. So I would say offensive line, the receiver core is extremely, extremely important. I'm still not zeroed in on enough corners here yet to see what is down here, but the offensive linemen are clearly down here. There are tight ends down here, and then there are depth edge rushers down here. Coach Dave McGinnis, Rhett Bryan, with me, Mike Keith, at the 2023 Reese's Senior Bowl for you at TennesseeTitans.com.